Hi peeps, welcome back to my channel. I'm here for a short video today because it has been chaos in my life lately. So if you would like to stick around, I'm gonna talk a bit about intuitive writing today and just a little bit about my life. Um, pull up a chair, subscribe to the channel, like this video, yada, yada, yada. And we'll get started here in a minute. So as you can tell, behind me, my office has changed. It is not in the finished state yet. Unfortunately, I mismeasured stuff and things didn't fit and things that did fit didn't work. And it was a mess, chaos the past two weeks. But my new, my new desk that will work for my main desk here has arrived and it will be put together this week and then everything will be rearranged and Sam will get that desk right back there and hopefully all will be well because I don't work well in chaos. I'm not going to go into everything that happened but it was a comedy of errors, pricey errors but errors nonetheless and I think of it as a comedy because otherwise I would just cry and there were a couple times I did. So yeah, that, that's been my past two weeks. Other than that, um, I thought I'd talk just a little bit about being an intuitive writer today and how you know when you are either processing or procrastinating and what's the difference between the two. So as I've said before, I work on a subconscious level. My mind processes plots and characters and everything at a level that I don't consciously think about. And then it sort of just produces them as I write. But there are times when I get stuck and then I realize I've been processing. I've needed to stop and let my subconscious process the information and what I've written up till then. And then it will start working again when I'm ready. It's almost like waiting on, you know, waiting on the mail to come to tell you which direction to go. But how do I know if I'm just procrastinating or if I'm actually processing? Because as I said, the writing sometimes will just stop and I will sit there and it's like, no matter how hard I try, nothing comes out. Over the years, I have learned that I have several tells as to whether I'm procrastinating or whether I'm processing. Now, a tell, at least in poker, is a sign or a movement or a gesture or something that someone subconsciously makes when they've either got a good hand or they're bluffing or something like that. So what is the tell that tells me that I'm actually processing and that I need this time to process the information. One way is when I start compulsively playing Bejeweled. Now, I know that sounds silly. It's, it's a game. It's a puzzle game with bright, shiny pieces. And um, it's a pattern game. And yeah, I like playing it just regularly. But if I start compulsively playing it over and over and over again, and my mind just sort of drifts, I can tell that I am processing some information at that point. Over the years, that's become one of my coping mechanisms for relieving the stress about not writing while my mind is working on what I need to know for the book. Another is I will find myself binge watching a show that I have seen before. Not a new show, because that is actively participating in the media exchange. I'm actively watching and listening. But if I am pinch watching a show that I have been over before, that I've seen before, and I find myself just sitting there staring at it, usually my subconscious is taking that time to process because I don't have to think about the show I'm watching. I know what's happening. I know what's going to happen in the show but it's something to free my mind from thinking 
while it works underneath the surface. Because that's for me what the process looks like, what the process of plotting or figuring out things looks like. My mind works below the surface and I have to do something that it doesn't make me think in order to let it work and not actively interfere. If I start trying to probe what my mind's thinking at that time, what my subconscious is up to, it interferes with the process. Those are the two most common ways I know I am processing information for my book. How do I know I'm procrastinating? Well, when I get hooked on a new show and just want to sit and watch it because I'm fascinated by it and I like it and it's fun and I realize I've watched five episodes and not done a bit of work that day, I'm procrastinating. Now, sometimes maybe I'm tired and I need a break. So I will ask myself, how tired am I? And if I'm very tired, I realize I just need to chill. So I'll let myself go on and watch. But if I realize that I'm procrastinating, usually it means that I'm bothered by something in my the rest of my life or that I'm bored. And then there's a problem with the book if I'm bored of writing or some other issue like that. So if I am actively avoiding writing by throwing myself into YouTube video after YouTube video, because YouTube is one of my rabbit holes, or watching a new show that I'm not really that hooked into, then I know I'm procrastinating. Now, why would I procrastinate? Maybe I need to process the information and I haven't been letting myself do so. Because processing requires work. And sometimes I will think I'm ready to write something and I'm not. And so if I try to write, it won't come. And if I don't realize I need to just process some information, I can get myself overwhelmed by doing other things. So if I am binge watching shows and not writing, if I am doing this or that, I need to look for the reason why I am avoiding the page. And sometimes it can be like, like it was in December and January and February that I had tangled of Kaylee's death in the series I was working on. And I was avoiding the writing. I was procrastinating, getting down to work because it hurt too much. Sometimes it can be that I'm just not working on a project that I'm thrilled about anymore. So those are just some thoughts on intuitive writers and how we approach our work. Because a plotter, someone who plots, usually they don't need to process the information the way we do because they've already done it in a different way, in a way that works for them. I also... When I am processing, I don't seem to have a sense of guilt, like I should be writing, I should be writing. I've learned over the years that that's just part of, part of the writing process for me. When I'm procrastinating, I feel guilty. And I can feel it even if it's not a strong tap, 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 you should be working. I, I feel a little guilty. So that's another way I can tell the difference between whether I am procrastinating or whether I am processing the work on an intuitive level so that I can actually write the book. Uh, if you have any thoughts about this, tell me. Does this make sense to you? If you're an intuitive writer, did it spark off any ideas of your own process? Because we all, regardless of whether we're intuitive writers or whether we are plotters or whether we are some hybrid, hybrid version of the two, we all have our own process that we go through in the writing itself. And, you know, it's, it's something that you have to find your own way. There are so many videos out there that tell you, here's how to plot. 
and here's how you do it. And you structure it in acts and you structure it in this or you structure it in chapters and stuff. If they tell you that's the only way, then it's not. You need to find your own, your own path. Just like spirituality, one size does not fit all with writing. You need to find the method that works for you and the method that makes it easiest to rely on your personal strengths and skills. So let's see. Let's have a dialogue. Talk to me. If you are a writer and you're an intuitive writer, especially, have you noticed that you have several tells that you're processing? Um, do you know the difference between your own process and procrastination? A very good thing to learn. It may be time to do some analysis of your personal process through this maze that we call being a writer. So I'm going to talk to you next week. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for today because I am busy because I did lose work because of the chaos in my office, um, which it doesn't look chaotic now. It's on the brink of it because nothing is where it needs to be, but at least it's clean enough and organized enough that I can work now. So that's a good thing. Take care. Talk to you next week. Jump over to my Patreon also. I have changed the tiers, offering more and reducing the price on some of them. And if you'd like to support me over there, that would be wonderful. And no, the babies are not here with me this moment to help me on this video. But oh my God, they are huge. They are almost nine pounds each at seven months old, taking them in to get their DNA swabbed this week. And as soon as we get the results, which will probably be a couple of weeks after that, I'll let you know if we have maybe a bit of Maine Coon on our hand. Take care. Bye-bye.